Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up a Nintendo Switch Pro controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator. Pretty simple, it's not as simple as a PS4 controller which is plug and play, but it is still simple nonetheless. So let me show you the controller right now, so it's one of these controllers I am referring to. And you've got two methods for connecting it, wirelessly using Bluetooth, because this thankfully has this regular Bluetooth or using a USB type C cable. Roughly in terms of difficulty, they're both roughly the same. I would say probably relatively easy. So let me show you something. If I open up game up, uh, so set up game controllers, usually when you connect a controller that it properly detects, like so, as you can see that's indicated that it's charging and E would usually appear in here. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller does not. So what we need to do is convert this, like make it so Windows reads it as an Xbox controller. And I'm just gonna disconnect this temporarily. And to do that, it's actually simple. It sounds more complex than it is. Just Google better joy for CEMU. And Let's go to the GitHub link. I'll provide a link to you know what you need anyway. And go to releases and just download the latest version, whatever that version may be. So you can go for x86, which is for 64 bit OS, and x I mean x64 if you are on 64 bit OS, and x86 if you are on 32 bit OS. And so I'm just gonna download this one. And okay, I'm gonna cancel it just because I've already got it downloaded. But obviously, you know, you don't need to cancel it and you shouldn't. And what you want to do is go to where you got it downloaded to, right click it, go to extract all, and that's fine. Just the default location is fine, it's open up the folder. You want to run this as an administrator, the driver install. So run that. Uh, go to more info, go to run anyway. When that pops up, click yes, you'll install some drivers. And you'll just wait patiently. It may take a little longer for you because I've already got it installed before, but that is a fine. And ignore that, that probably will not pop up for you. It just keeps popping up for me when I'm connecting certain controllers. I've you know installed something else that's conflicting with it, but this doesn't actually affect it by the way. So but you can ignore that. Okay, so press any key to continue. And now what we want to do is open up this better joy for CEMU.exe. And let that load up. Now if I minimize this and now if I connect the controller like so. As you can see, it detects the controller and it's mapped here as a window, I mean a 360 controller. If I click locate, you may be able to hear it, it just vibrates the controller just in case you've got multiples, you know, connected so you can detect which one it is. But it, you know, it says right there that it's player one on the MD. And if we go to the properties, as you can see, all of the buttons, etc know work fine so the only button that don't are these two extra one because the xbox doesn't have enough you know, buttons to map it for this but the ps3 doesn't either so it's you know it's a okay and let me show you the other method which is to connect it via bluetooth so i'm gonna shut this down so when you shut that down it stops the connection so you're gonna make sure that's running and i'm gonna disconnect this and connect it via bluetooth if you want to just use the wired option, maybe you don't have Bluetooth, or maybe you don't want to use Bluetooth for whatever reason, then you can just you know skip to the RPCS free part of this video. So now you want to search for Bluetooth and other device settings. Go to devices and printers. You can add it via this button here. The reason I'm not is just because if you're maybe on an older operating system, this is universal. So what you want to do is put this into pair mode, press that button there and this will start flashing. So if I press that, oh, it's not flashing is it? No, it is, it is. It's really hard 
hard to see on the camera. I mean, should be able to see it, but it is pretty hard to see. Yeah, actually, you can see it better there. So you may need to keep that button pressed. Go to add a device. If it doesn't appear straight away like mine did, just wait because you know I've connected it before, so it's a little faster. Click next, and you know, just wait patiently. This will connect. Almost there. It's detected in here, and this is done now. So I can close this down, close this down, and as you can see, we need to basically get it connected. To do that, again, you just open up Better Joy for CEMU. It detects it, but now it's just a wireless controller. But again, you know, it detects all of the buttons as well. So that's it. So now, let me show you what you need to do in in rpcs3 okay just one little tidbit like i said if you shut this down okay, a few little tidbits if you shut this down you won't be able to you know connect the control anymore but you just reopen it if you want to uninstall the better joyful cr emu drivers for some reason just run this and you will automatically uninstall them and if you ever want to disconnect the controller you can listen bluetooth mode wireless mode just go to bluetooth just either go there, click remove device, or go to devices and printers, find the device, right click and remove device. Okay, now let's open up our PCS3. We're gonna launch up, just down, you know, I've got a separate set of videos for that, so feel free to check them out. They are in the description. Did I click? Open. Okay. Oh, apparently it's already running, it must have been. Okay, so yeah, okay, there we go. And now what you want to do is go to pads. Actually, I'm going to use all over here. Go to pads, and from here, you want to select X input. And this is just the device once I've got one connected. And as you can see, if you look down here, the bottom right of the window is detecting the joysticks and it's detecting this press as well. These are just literally individual presses, so you don't have the luxury of being able to do an analog mode, which you know I thought was stupid, especially on a pro controller. But at least it's consistent with what's on the Nintendo Switch, I guess. Okay, and everything else should be you know mapped a okay, fine, and you know this says Y and this says X, that is fine because remember this is a nintendo switch pro controller so the letters are switched over compared to on an xbox controller feel free to change these if you want to but you shouldn't need to okay so you just want to make sure you click save before you do that you can add a profile this is optional you can name it and then you could remap these so that way you can have different profiles maybe depending on what game you're playing maybe you want to map these onto an analog stick depending on the game so click save also one other thing you can enable vibration if you wanted there's no small vibration it's just a single large vibration but just keep that selected if you want it so click save and now i'm going to start a game to show you so i'm going to launch up minecraft and the reason I'm doing Minecraft instead of the others is this one has green compatibility right there, it's playable. And while I'm recording, it is it achieves a frame rate that is reasonable, you know, while I'm recording the screen. Okay, so it is connected, but I'm just gonna, you know, just show you, just prove to you. And as you can see, it is connected to the controller one. Okay, it's a bit loud. Let me turn the volume down. Okay, so as you can see, it is working. But let me get in the game and actually, you know, show you it working. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It means we can use, you know, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to use it. One, you like it, and you, you know, you, you want to use it on a different system, essentially. And two, maybe you are playing a game that maybe with some friends and you need, need I don't know four controllers and you haven't got enough PS4 or PS3 or 
you know, Xbox controllers and you want to use one of these bad boys. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, it is working. So these buttons, what they will just do, it is basically the equivalent of pressing a PS3 controller button, L2, L, R2 or L2, all the way down. So it's basically all the way down, essentially. And that's it. That's really all you need to know. And that's the pause. I mean, I start and I select. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.